you guys so Lely's in the shower so i'm just going to be taking over today so this is was it margarita with mushrooms yeah. oh wow it's nice and hot so this is bolognese this is the first bolognese we've actually had in italy surprisingly we've been here for how long we've a total of like three four days and this is Chicken wait what was it called i think it's <laughs> Real escalop. No um, this smells incredible. A nice, oh my god, that looks amazing. Wow. Overall, everything at this hotel has just been beyond exceptional. Service, from the second you arrive, it's just it's amazing. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. This is the best bolognese I've ever had. Wait, my... where's my veal? Oh my god, look at it. It's so good. It smells amazing. I'm not even allowed to eat pasta, but wow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my How was your lobster just, salad? Really nice. Good morning, everyone. Today we are heading to Florence. I am sad to be leaving this room. It's so beautiful. Let me just show you guys how we open the windows here. So we have these lovely large windows. I love these shutters. I definitely saw a naked lady somewhere here. I don't know, it was yesterday, day before yesterday. So this hotel room is, I think it's bigger than the other hotel I was staying at. Don't mind the bed, I do not know how to make, well I do know how to make a bed, but in a hotel, that's how I make a bed. So I do think it is bigger than the last suite I was in, excluding the fact that we were joined to my mum's suite. This is literally the size of my studio apartment when I first moved to London. <laughs> It's fantastic. So we've stayed in four hotels in the past two weeks in four different cities. No, three different cities. Buongiorno. <laughs> oh, is it raining? I'm just gonna wear this, honestly. I have a jumper, that's about it. That's all I've packed for myself. I'm gonna have other options because um, it couldn't fit anywhere else. So we actually arrived here in the evening so you guys couldn't see what the hotel actually looks like. This is the famous courtyard. And up there, where they have breakfast. It's so beautiful. Look at the detailing of all the rooms. They have over a hundred rooms in here. You wouldn't think so looking at the building when you walk in. But it is very large. First thing we look at when we're at the breakfast. <laughs> They have different milks. And Thank so God they have different kinds of milk. Look what I found. Oh my gosh, look at this butterfly. I haven't seen a butterfly in years. There is an actual little cave. I would love to live in there. <laughs> Stunning. You want to live in there like a little hobbit. That's me. Hobbit life. I'm wearing my new Hermes sneakers today it's probably not the best idea to test them out when i've got a long day of walking ahead of me guys we're taking the train to firenze so excited my battery's running low <gasps> okay we made it onto the train i don't know how long the train is should definitely not be a travel vlogger i don't know how to do it but Oh my god, it's so beautiful. You can totally tell the vibe is completely different to Rome. Wow, wow. Lovely to churches and churches. Hotel, Hotel Savoy. Horsey! Not us getting excited over horses. So, Chef Massimo Batura has a restaurant, the Gucci restaurant here. He also has one in Dubai, which is fantastic. Is that the W on the palm? Oh my god, is that chicken leg? Yeah. It's just a feather. Oh my god, it's a bone. What is that? <laughs> I don't know, pick it up and let me know. Um, okay, we canned the Gucci restaurant, although I really wanted to go. We decided we'll do something more traditional. A small little, I believe they're called trattorias. I don't know, I'm butchering the words. Sorry guys, forgive me. Um, and wow, honestly, I just want to be outside. I want to enjoy this weather. I want to enjoy. I want to enjoy the scenery because it is beautiful. Gnocchi with tomato, mozzarella, artichoke salad. Mm, yummy. 
the crepe fior and Lauren Fiorentina spinach and mushroom crepes. Yummy. We have one more. What did we get? Truffle pasta. The yummy, creamy truffle pasta. This is all fresh pasta, by the way. We found these pants at the Gucci Garden. They are one of a kind. I'm obsessed. I mean, yeah, they're big, but we can get them tailored. <laughs> we walked down to the Santa Maria Cathedral. Just want to stop and stare and appreciate this beautiful building. Everything is so intricately designed. Wow, carved. We're gonna go a bit closer. I think we might try and get inside. Yeah, we can go in. I'm in the Lisa Via Roma store. I just picked up a pair of Burberry boots that I really wanted. I also just tried on this beautiful orange Jill Sanders set. Unfortunately, it's probably too large. I did see this. This Valentino shirt, which is in size 40. I love this store. Ooh, this kite piece. I wish my boobs would fit into this, but I don't think they will. Guys, guys, we're so tired. Our phones have been dead for the past hour. We're like asking people how to get to even, We haven't really given, given a shit though. It's been great. And now we're just walking back to the hotel. Ew, dog poo. She's like, who dog? Here's your dog for my own. Oh, I love the horses. We're so tired. Oh, what but a nose. Now we're just heading back to the hotel. We're gonna rest and then go out. I needed to buy an outfit because I've only packed for winter wear. Google told me it was gonna be raining. So we came down to the restaurant. It's called Irene. Excited to have some food. Some more pasta, ideally. Of course, I got the spaghetti pomodoro. You guys know I love spaghetti pomodoro. We split it into three plates. And then we have sea bass. This is actually a salt block. Some beef fillet, cooked medium, yummy. And then we have a sea bass with mashed potatoes and mushrooms. And my favorite, linguine al astis. Is that correct? Al astiche. Astiche. <gasps> wow. I've been pronouncing it wrong. Astiche. So linguine. Queenie with lobster. How do you know when you've eaten too much, Lise? This happens. Good morning, guys. It's our second day in Florence. We're only here for two days, which is very unfortunate. So I am actually, I'm running late for breakfast. My mother and sister have already left. I am just doing the last minute packing. I had to get ready. I woke up late and my sister like, has not realized obviously we don't really live together so she hasn't realized if you wake me up in the morning and you're like wake up and i'm like mm, that means you better come back before you want to leave otherwise i will be sleeping my outfit doesn't even match actually before we leave most importantly love that they have creams in here Yeah, I'm running late. I haven't brushed my hair. You guys know we need. Ew! Oh my god. <laughs> when you don't brush your extensions, they look like this ratty. And they can get like that through the day if you don't carry a brush on you. Do I plan my outfits? But I kind of just shoved a bunch of stuff in. The most I packed was actually. It was a bunch of stuff for Can and for Monaco. Like outfits I wanted to wear there because that's where I really had to like try my hardest to not be myself when it came to my outfit choices like as you guys know i'm very laid back i'm very casual and that's just how i am like i make design like classic clothes like this look like they're h m which is obviously it's not a great treat to have but i don't care if people don't know that i'm wearing designer like it's not this whole logo stuff is not for me but anyways i mean it depends on my mood but like i'm going through a phase where i'm like mm, i'm so subtle I don't know why I shot at that. Considering Italy went through such a rough time with COVID, first wave around, they really have outdone themselves. Honestly, the city, coming back to the Roccaforte hotels has made me realize why I want to be coming back 
to Italy every year. I just love it so much, the energy, the vibe, the people, the service, hospitality. So we're heading, oh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. <laughs> so this is the square, the piazza something, and there is the Savoy where we're staying. You can have breakfast right over there on the street. It's so lovely. I found Bottega, I found Bulgari, and I found Cartier. But first we're going to an outlet. I'm hoping it's going to be good. I need to find Givenchy because I really want to get the new Givenchy boots. Okay, so there was a bit of light rain, which to me translates, put the Kelly away and change your outfit. <laughs> so, here I am putting on my travel outfit. It only makes sense because we are traveling 40 minutes to get to... In a car. Okay, whatever, we're still traveling. Anything above half an hour is a travel journey for me. <laughs> um, we are going. We are heading to the mall. Not a regular mall, it's called the mall. It's an outlet just outside Florence and it has some of the best designer brands. A lot of Italian brands, of course. So I'm excited. Even though my bag is Togo Lava, water, not good. This is why I always emphasize, if you live in a country where there is unexpected rain, why would I not pack a raincoat? I always keep raincoats in Hermes bags whenever I'm in Europe, but for this trip, I just did not expect it to rain. Anyways, if I didn't show you guys the hotel prior, let me show you. So I got a little, I believe this is the junior suite. So adorable. It's so big for Junior. It's thing. so spacious. And this is on the top floor, so you have an amazing view. And then through here, there's actually a secret door. Cute. This is the executive suite where my mum and sister were staying. So here is a little room tour. This is the entrance to the executive suite. Over here on the right, we have a guest closet, so somewhere you can put like your coats and heavier items, a guest toilet, and hello. Through here we have the dining area and the living area. And we have a cute little hair. How cute is this hair? Hello. One of the things I love most about this hotel is that They've put so much detail into this hotel, it's crazy. Through here we have the bedroom where Elise and my mum were staying. You have a lovely view out through this window and you can actually sit here on the windowsill, which is very nice. There's actually a rooftop restaurant or something over there. You've got a chest of drawers, two bedside tables, a TV. I'm gonna show you over through there in a bit, but let's just go through here quickly. So through the closet you have a safe you've got lots of space and look how nicely lit this bathroom is you've got a bath with lovely caesar watching over you and a standing shower which wow look at this shower it's honestly such a good shower they also give you lots of robes and if you're small like me they give you a small robe which is perfect they also give you like all the all the really necessary amenities a lot of hotels talking to you martinez do not. And they also give you slippers which are beyond comfortable. So this is their bedroom. And through here is their living area, entertaining area. We have a bookcase which has a hidden door which then goes into the joining suite which is my suite. You have another TV. It's amazing. But wow, the decoration and the detail that has gone into this hotel. The furnishings and just it's just so lovely. Look at this view. Wow. Okay, so we go through here. And then that is my suite. You've got my living area, my little study situation. They give you adapters, give you a coffee machine. Here's my delightful bed. Yeah, another TV. There's two TVs in this suite. So in total, we have had four TVs 
none of which have been used, but oh, I'm just obsessed. I love a good, oh, my toothbrush. I love a good hotel with decent lighting and these mirrors. These mirrors are so overlooked in some hotels, it's really frustrating. Obviously, I have a walk-in too, which is a bit smaller than the other one, but honestly, we could have all slept in here together, but this is just like a massive apartment. Belize just saw me leaving the room as she was getting into the elevator and just left. That's fine. That's cool. You enter the Savoy here, and then this is the entrance. I am obsessed with the interiors here. They've been fully renovated. Wish you were nude, but you're not. And then over here, just look. <gasps> I need to know who did the interior here because the mixing of these colors and. Not even the pillow's peachy. Can you like move? Now we are on our way to the mall, which is an amazing outlet, just 40 minutes out of Firenze, Florence, and it's a slightly rainy day. Low-key, I'm kind of happy because I only packed clothes for a rainy day. I bought boots yesterday, but I wasn't going to risk wearing them for a 40-minute walk around a mall. Um, so I'm wearing my trusty Chanel trainers, and I'm excited. There is literally so many stores here. The Givenchy, the prices are crazy. If you get a chance to come, do it. Guys, look at this Gucci piece. This is originally 15,000 euros. It is now, you're not gonna believe it, 3,000 euros. If I'm coming to Italy, I'm coming to Florence first. I'm coming here, because this is wild. So it's all outdoors, very similar to this village in London. Oh, Oxford, but much better. <laughs> the stock was so much better. Safe to say we had a successful shopping trip in Florence. Now I need to figure out how to put all of that into here, which is already kind of full. Mm. Made it onto the train. 24 hours in Florence, and very successful. The shopping was magnificent. The hotel was insane. I'm so sad to actually be leaving that hotel. But we're going back to another Rocco Forte hotel, which is another fabulous hotel. And yeah, it was a very successful shopping trip. I would highly recommend just spending 24 hours in Florence if you want to shop. It's not more, 48 hours, probably a lot more done. We're back at the De Russi, which is one of our favorite hotels in Rome. Of course, the other Rocco Forte hotels are amazing. They left us this lovely message. We've only even gone a day. So sweet. Some lovely flowers. We have an amazing view of the courtyard down there and the hotel. I think we might have dinner down here. Elise does the Instagram videos and I do the YouTube because I'm not very good at Instagram videos. I'm just packing everything. Don't ask me how I pack, I have no idea how to pack, but I just want to show you this beautiful packaging before I throw it away. This is for my new Gucci trousers. These are a one of one pair, exclusive to the Gucci garden. I just had to get them. He was like, yeah, they're one of one. I was like, I am sold. I'm that customer. <laughs> I love these. I'm so sad to have to throw the packaging away. It's so beautiful. But if you guys are ever in Florence, they do have a Gucci garden store where they have exclusive pieces, one of one pieces, just made for this store. And you will be the only person in the entire world to have a piece of the Gucci garden. I am so sad. It's our last night in Rome. Is that you here? One, two, three. Oh, the, the room with the lights on. And we are having dinner at the hotel. We had room service when we first came and it was phenomenal. It was so good. It was so good. So Usually, <laughs> sparkling, thank you. Usually room service in hotels is so bad, but honestly it was really good. And we are now down at the restaurant in like the courtyard, which is so beautiful. I was just going through my camera roll Wait, to upload to something. In, in and <laughs> I have no pictures. I've been living my best life not taking any pictures but i have been vlogging a little bit so you'll see a little bit um i have no pictures no videos nothing on my phone except when we'd like go out and 
I'd be taking pictures of Elise and then she'd be like, you want a picture? And I was like, okay. Just living in the moment, living your best life. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be our last trip to Rome. We're definitely coming back soon. I love, love being able to come back to Europe. 